Hey y'all, Southern Scratchin'. So I am here to talk to you about do tags matter? Now, of course, all of y'all are saying, of course they matter. You told us they mattered. And I did, because they did. But now they don't. <laughs> I know, mind blown. So I've told y'all before that after I do my video every night, I upload it and I sit there and get my tags uploaded and my description uploaded and do all of the captions and all of that stuff while I'm waiting for all of the AdSense stuff to do its thing and all of that fun stuff. And um, I noticed, oh, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago or something that there was this sentence above the tag box and I didn't really pay much mind to it. And uh, one day I did, and I guess I'm glad I did, but Lord have mercy, it sent me on this crazy, crazy search mission for a couple weeks while I was trying to figure everything out. And, you know, a lot of the community was trying to figure stuff out at the same time. And it said, and I'm putting it up right now. You see this, I'm not going to read it word for word, but hey, Here's the tag box, but uh, they don't really matter. And I was like, uh, what? Say what? What you talking about? So I clicked on the learn more because you know what else would you do? And that takes me over here to this one. And the learn more says, basically... If you have a lot of stuff that's misspelled, then the keywords might be important. But other than that, it's what's in your title and your description and your thumbnail. And oh my gosh, mind blown, people, mind blown. Because, you know, before I told you all, make sure that you're matching what's in your description and your title and your keywords, your tags. All of a sudden, none of that matters. As soon as we figure out all the answers, they change the questions. And it's no wonder that, you know, we're all going crazy at times. So here's the deal. We know that YouTube has some crazy billions of hours of watch time that are loaded all the time. So... There's bots that are listening and watching for everything. So they have removed tags. And I guess it's, it makes sense because you could put anything you wanted in the tag box. You know, I could put in there sport fishing. It doesn't mean that I make any videos about sport fishing, but I could. And I guess... Uh, I hadn't thought about it, but I, I, I'm th sitting here thinking about it right now. And maybe that's what they're trying to combat. I don't know. I haven't really heard, heard that discussed, but maybe. That's just my theory now that I'm thinking about it. So they, for whatever reason, they've moved away from tags. And like I said, unless you're misspelling stuff. and that. So now they're focusing on four things. You need to have your title, your description, your thumbnail, and your voice match. Because again, you've got a bot that's checking for all of these things. And we know that nobody's listening. So they say within 30 seconds of the start of your video, and they are accounting for time of, you know, your intro and everything, you need to say what your video is about. Now, you notice that right now my video is at 22 seconds, and it's longer tonight. The intro was longer tonight. Um, and I don't know if you've noticed it, but I have changed the way that I have been introducing once I start talking every night. Tonight's longer because I said, hey, I'm back to using regular music, and I'm back to using Adobe. No more of trying that other stupid editing stuff. So listen to the difference in how I am introducing my, my videos now. 
Hello, welcome back to Southern Scratchin'. We are going to go visit Mr. Magoo in the Georgia Lottery Monopoly $10, $5,000 a week for life. We are looking for... So, you heard me say, Mr. Magoo... <laughs> Um, you, but you heard me say Georgia Lottery, Monopoly, $5,000 a week for life. All of those are in my title. All of those are in my description. All of those are in my description in the very top line of my description because one thing that a few people recommended was to just copy the top line of your description. So I'm going with that right now. Um... So I've got my title, oh, and then the thumbnail. Now, I talked to somebody that makes their living off of teaching YouTubers how to make videos and talked to him about my thumbnails. That was the, the discussion was about the thumbnails because it's always about, um, you know, throw stuff in there to make them stand out and everything. But then this whole discussion about the bots came up and, you know, how does that impact me? So I am not telling you to make a decision about your thumbnails. I want to make that clear. This is how it pertained to me. I'm sharing it with you so that you can make a decision on the right thing to do for your channel. You will notice on my thumbnail and I'm putting up a clean copy of my thumbnail now. Um, on my thumbnail, I have got a clean copy of the tickets and my hands. And it says Georgia Lottery, Monopoly, $5,000 a week for life. It's clean. It matches my title, my description, what I said the, the tickets are. And his theory was that... Um, it would, um, if I did something other than that, it would, um, could impact my, um, my CPM and RPM. And I know that a lot of you all are not looking at that yet, but you will be. So my RPM is 1132. This shows my CPM as being 750 because it's just showing US. My actual CPM is really almost $10. Um, what his concern was that if I changed it, it would probably confuse things. And my um, CPM would actually drop down to um, much lower. Um, so he did not recommend me doing that. So that is that. Um, but again, I am not recommending anything for any of you because everybody has to do what's right for them. Uh, so, those are the new fun rules for YouTube. Um, you know, I, I always tell everybody to, to look at your keywords. Remember that YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world. If you hear the cat purring, sorry, the kitten just jumped on me. And it is second only to YouTube, which is the first biggest, and YouTube owns um, or Google owns YouTube. There's also YouTube or um, TubeBuddy and VidIQ. They both have um, free, um, whatchamacallit, free parts. Um, free whatever. <laughs> and they've got keyword, you can do keyword searches. You know, if you're trying to think of a title, try typing in like, on this Georgia Monopoly and and seeing what you get 
And, you know, maybe that can kind of guide you in on a title. So at any rate, I love you all until I find something else to share. I will talk to you all later. Bye.